for Revit for fabrication because we can innovate our own process. The cloud collaboration which Revit allows because uh, I, I understand the point of view actually why they raised this question because uh, why don't you use niche uh, software the reason that I think we stick with Revit um, on this kind of like especially for our team uh, I would say uh, for Revit for fabrication because we can innovate our own process so just to explain what does it mean there's a, a model building information model and there's a modeling the modeling can be many different ways and this is if you use a standardized tool like a specific tool for uh, mass timber or timber construction um, you all have to stick with the limitation of that software with Revit, you have a much wider limitation. Like it, it is like much wider. You, you, you can just use out of your innovation um, or like different ideas of processes and you can implement inside Revit. So yeah. that is one of the main reasons I think we are sticking with it. So it gives us a little more flexibility of creating our own process that will work for a particular uh, team of structure. Maybe you can answer this, add to anything to this and together with the cloud collaboration. Yeah, so I mean, uh very specific project that I worked on, and, and it was with a European um, supplier. And we, we had sent out quotes to different European detailers, and we kept getting a time frame of 10 months, 11 months, like it was going to take them that long to model the, the project. Um, and, you know, we, we were able to complete the project using Revit in three months because we set up the project kind of like what you were saying we set up the project in a very custom way and it was very specific to this unique project. And so the, the reason that they were saying 10 months, 11 months in this project was because it was still kind of, they were still kind of iterating through the design. A lot of things kept changing. And so, but, but we understood what was changing on the project. And so we set up all these parametric relationships with the architectural model. And because we're using Revit, we can link you know, via the cloud, we can link the architectural model to our model. And so every time they updated their model or published their model, it would bring their model into our model and it would adjust and update our elements parametrically to that model. And so if their column sizes grew larger, our connections would grow larger. If they changed the grid spacing, our grids would change and all of our columns and beams would shift. But, but because you but also our, see them together, right? You link the, those information together. Yeah, I link them together. Right. But, but the, the, the other timber suppliers that were using the more niche software basically had to start their model over each time there was a change. They, they just or modify over. or modify depending on uh, the, the amount of change there is. Right, right. But we don't, yeah, but, but using Revit, you can set up a Revit project so that you don't have to manually modify anything. You could, you could set it up so that, you know, you could use Dynamo to input data, change parameters or link a model so that if the architect changes things or the structural engineer changes things, you know, your model just updates automatically. So there's a, there's a lot more flexibility. Um, and it, it, it helps you work, it helps you work with the design team in a much more integrated way. You know, it's kind of breaking down the barriers between um, architecture and construction. You know, you're, it, it's, it's moving more towards a digital integrated project delivery approach rather than um, design bid build approach. So. Yeah, I understand. Actually, that's a very important point because um, when you, I, I love the idea of open BIM. There is, uh, there is definitely um, uh, the open BIM is very important because multiple vendors um, uh, competition uh, means that everyone will try to improve their you know product all the time. So which will be better for the end users in the end of the day. So there's not one vendor leading like right now in the industry. So um, but. The good thing over here is that, for example, with our like niche specific software, when you have this cloud collaboration, you, like you said, uh, you can automate a lot of the procedures of the workflow, which with the open BIM would have been much more difficult because you can overlay the information, you can do the class section, but you cannot set parameters of the changes to change your own models. That will be missing. So you can use a certain um, software, export the uh, like an open BIM IFC format, link it or directly link it in the cloud. All the models are linked in the cloud, but parameter size changes will not occur in individual models directly. So that is a benefit of niche platform and niche specific like Revit, Revit and Cloud, uh, Autodesk Cloud, where you can do this kind of linking if everyone uses Revit. The question over here is if 
uh, the other people are not using Revit, then you have you know like the same problem again with Revit that you cannot automatically link. So how do you manage the stakeholders in that way? So do they have to use Revit for sure or? Uh, no. So so the only the only people that we're really interested in in being parametrically associated with are the architect construction engineer, and I would say. 100% of the time, 100% of the projects I've ever worked on have been Revit projects. Um, if the steel supplier is working in Tepla, you know, I don't really care because they usually take so much time to model the steel that we just model it anyway so that we, we can do our own clash within our own model with the steel elements because, you know, they, they might get us their steel model a week before we need to give drawings out. And that's just not enough time to do all of the clash detection with the steel model. So we'll just we'll just do it. Uh, it's, it's kind of the same thing with concrete wall framing. You know, we don't, um, and, and that's another advantage of using Revit is that you can create all those different building elements within Revit really simply. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a piece of software that's designed to be able to create walls, floors, you know, structural steel, structural concrete. You know, it's, it's kind of a jack of all trades, master of none type software. <laughs> 